Hi everybody, we're going to practice long division using the standard algorithm. We're going to do 937 divided by four. So you can grab a piece of paper and follow along with me, or you can use these worksheets or whiteboard. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now, you can already see that there will be a remainder. What that means is you can't actually divide this number equally into four groups. So if I actually divided this up into four groups, like one, two, three, four, what, you know, I would get four groups, but then there'd be something left over that I can't equally split up. So there might be like one left over, two or three. So that's what that means. And this here is called the dividend. It's the number that's getting divided up. And this is the divisor. So if we had, let's say we had 937 dog treats and I was putting them into four piles. That would be a lot of treats. Um, these, this is the number of piles. Or like if I had 937 toys and I was <clears throat> splitting them between four friends, that's the four. It's the equal groups that we're making. And then this is the big number that's getting split up. All right, so our first step is to divide. And we're using that four. And we're gonna go digit by digit, more or less, and we start on the left and go right, as if you're reading a book. So basically, this is saying nine divided by four. Well, four doesn't really go into nine equally, but you can still say how many groups of four can I make if I have nine. So you can tally mark. My favorite way to do it is to skip count because it gets faster for later. So if I skip count my fours, I'd say, how many times can I multiply this four? One, two, three, four, five, etc. before I go over nine, because I am not going to hit it in this case, but one, two times, and then I go over. So four can go into nine, two times. Nine divided by four is two. Not two exactly, but that's the closest that you get. So that's our division step. Four goes into nine two times, and we put it up here at the top. The next step is to multiply, and we're going to take the last thing that we wrote, multiply it back down with that four, just to see how close we actually got to nine. So two times four is eight. And that is the closest we actually got to nine. There was something left over that we couldn't use. That's what this next step is for, is to get that leftover so you don't leave it behind. So again, just thinking about the last thing we wrote as our guide post. And now we're going to use this, nine minus eight, and put the answer in the green box. Nine minus eight is one. So we had that one left over that we couldn't use, but we have used up eight. All right, so that one is really too small to work with now, and that's why this step is next. We're gonna bring the three down so that we have something to work with here. So now we have a 13, and we can do it all over again using the 13. So, eight. Okay, now we're doing how many times can four go into 13? So I've got 13 tally marks here and I could see how many groups of four I could make. Um, my favorite way though is just to skip count and I already wrote it down, which is great because then it's just there. So how many times can you skip count your fours before you go over? One, two, three times. Four can fit into 13 three times. So I'm going to put my three up top. Every time I divide, it goes up top because this is where the answer is and division is technically what we're doing, even though there's all this other stuff going on. So we did 13 divided by four and we got three. And now we're gonna multiply that three back down to see how close we actually got to 13. So now we do three times four, which is 12. That's the closest we actually could get to 13 and there's something left over and that's why we subtract. We're gonna do 13 minus 12, which is one. And now we're at this step. So we have that one that's left over, but it's not enough to work with. So we bring the seven down, and now we have a 17 to work with. Coming back here, 
So we're going to divide again. 17 divided by 4. Or how many times can 4 go into 17? Or how many times can you skip count 4 before you go over? And in this case, the answer is 4. So we can fit 4 into 17 4 times. And then we multiply it back. 4 times 4 is 16. And then we subtract to see what's left over. So 17 minus 16 is 1. Here's how we know that we are done with this stuff. This number is too small to work with. It's smaller than that, so it's, you can't divide it up unless you want to go into fractions, which I do not want to do right now. And there's nothing left to bring down. There's nothing over here. So I can't do this stuff. There's nothing there. That means that this is the remainder. And the remainder, I put a green box because when you subtract, you're subtracting to figure out if there's a remainder. So our answer, 937 divided by 4 is 234 remainder 1. That means if I actually had, you know, 937 dog treats and I put them into four groups, I would have 234, 234, 234, 234, and then I'd have one left over that I couldn't split up. It also means if you multiply 234 times 4, you're going to get 936. And then when you put that one back in, that gets you up to 937. So thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful to you. The more you practice, the easier it will get. So I encourage you to keep practicing and let me know if you have any questions.